Welcome to a very special 3ABN Today program. My name is C.A. Murray, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to what is going to be an exciting, fast-paced hour of missionary stories of miracles from the Lord. And um, you'll excuse me because I'm very happy. I'm a missionary guy. Always like to hear the stories when the missionaries came back to our church when I was growing up. And we have got some stories that literally will make your hair fall out. I've heard them already. <laughs> and um, <laughs> by the grace of the Lord, we're going to share these with you. So if you've got an iPad, a pen, pencil, paper, no. fire something up because you may want to record this program. And if not, let me encourage you to uh, get the DVD because you're going to hear some wonderful, wonderful things. Got some great people with me this afternoon. Good to be here. Uh, nice. And good to have you all here. Great to be here. Good yeah. to, now, Dr. Leela, I know you, of course, as the CEO of Your Best Pathway to Health. And when last we were together, we were slaving over a hot board meeting. That's right. That took almost whole day. And you were there, right. long yeah. board meeting, Ooh. detailed board yeah. meeting. I didn't yeah. know that you had enough time in your day to pal around with this crew. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's good to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> nice to be here. Yeah. Uh, and there is some interconnection. There we're going to talk about that also. Yep. Yep. So great things are happening. Kyle Allen, good to have you here, man. Good to see you, CA. Vice President, AWR. Yep. Got the AWR shirt on. And these are good shirts. Nice shirts, right? Yeah, these yeah. are great. These Wait are great shirts. Yeah. I don't know how. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am almost envious, almost breaking the yeah. commandment. I love these shirts. Yeah, and they're Columbia. I'll yeah, I love I'll, these I'll shirts. Buy you one. Really well yeah. done. Well done. Dwayne McKee, president of AWR and also vice president, or actually you assist the president of right. the General Conference right. for TMI. That's right. Yeah, so you've yeah. got a, a full plate. It's, it's yeah. fun. Yeah. It's exciting. And, and you went out and, and, and I don't want to say stole Sue Hinkle. I did. But borrowed. <laughs> <laughs> but you borrowed Sue Hinkle, who is the outreach manager for AWR. That's and I right. know doing a fine job because oh, she's, she's good at whatever she does. That's yeah. right. It's, it's, it's a, a dream privilege. Team. It is a dream, dream team. It is a, yeah. it is a, and, and the mouthpiece, <laughs> Cami Ootman. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and let me get the, the title right. Adventist World Radio, Adventist World Radio Vice President for Advancement. Yes. Praise right. the Lord. Yeah. A delight yeah. to be here. Thank you. Good to have you yeah. all here. Smiling faces. Uh, we said in a previous program, if you watch them very closely, this group barely touches the ground when they walk. It's like the three <laughs> angels flying in a mist of heaven because of what they do and the rewards and blessings of the Lord that they're always up for the Lord. And this is going to be an exciting program. You really want to draw close to this one and hear what's going on because the Lord is doing some great things Amen. in the world Amen. through Amen. AWR. Which is, this is not your father's AWR doing. This is a brand new, grown up, mature <laughs> right. AWR it is. It is. that's it is. doing some brand new things yeah, and right. really, really exciting Amen. things. AWR and, uh, 360, broadcast to baptism. Amen. Broadcast, Amen. I love Amen. that. Yeah. Broadcast to baptism. And, and I've said this before. Uh, growing up, we heard about AWR from the time they first put that, uh -huh. that big system in Guam. Yep. But it was always sort of an out there mm. kind of right. thing, you know? Right. But out there, it's now in here. It's here. Yeah, oh. praise the Lord. Right now. <laughs> and it's, 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 it's doing some great, great works. And, you know, comes the man, comes yeah. the occasion, and God puts the person that he wants in for the time. Amen. And uh, I could see, I can see God's hand on you. Amen. Uh, Amen. And, Amen. And, and the, and the idea is that you are a Praise bundle of ideas. Oh, yes. yes. A yes. bundle of ideas. Yes. And you got a good team with oh, yeah. you, you know? <laughs> the really, really good Excellent. team. Excellent. Yes. The best. Praise the Lord. The very best. And a great wife yeah. that kind of keeps you alive. Oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> she is, she's just... Back behind us here. Yeah. Please look. Now, I want to yeah. give you just a little tease because we're going to talk about some, some exciting 
stuff. I have no better word mm -hmm. than stuff. Yep. Uh, going up into the highlands of the Philippines and wow. doing some things oh, that have yeah. possibly never been done before, yeah. evangelistically, and really just some great stuff. So I don't even know where to start. Let's have a quick word of prayer, and then we're okay. going to launch out because yep. uh, we need to get we need to get going. Uh, good doctor, just have a quick word of prayer for us, if you will. Dear Father in heaven, thank you so much for the opportunity of coming together and hearing what you are doing for your Holy Spirit Amen. around the world. Please bless our program today and thank you again for the opportunity of sharing these wonderful truths. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. amen. Now, who do, Cam, you know, I guess, you know, Dr. Yeah. Dr. Leela and I have been friends for many years. Since, A long time. Yeah. yeah. She helped us out when I was president in Arizona mm -hmm. and we've been friends and connected and then she came up with this idea of your best pathway to health mm -hmm. starting in San Francisco and Oakland and then San Antonio. And she asked if I'd help her in, San Anto in uh, yeah. Oakland and I said in San Francisco. And I said, sure, but you have to help there us. There was a deal. <laughs> <laughs> there was a deal. deal. There's always, always a deal. Always a deal. Indeed. Indeed. I, I got the oh deal. My. And the Lord bless in yes, such a marvelous did. way as we combine evangelism Amen. along with the medical Amen. in, in San Amen. Antonio. Yeah. And because of having the pathway to health and the, the health seminars and the evangelistic projects and meetings and the Bible study. We mm -hmm. now have six new churches in San Antonio. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise it the seems Lord. like, Praise who was that? Some lady said a long time ago, who, who was that, Cammie? <laughs> She's about a favorite. A favorite? <laughs> <laughs> about the, the health message. What was yeah. that? Go yeah. being the... The right, the right arm. arm. Right, right arm. arm. It's yeah. what we're yeah. supposed to be yeah. doing. Yeah. That's what we should is. be doing, That's isn't right. It? And so what we combination. Have, what beauty when yeah. we do it yeah. together. Amen. So, yeah. so that's our vision. Right. And we talk about the perfect fit for the person. This, this, Energizer Bunny. I mean, you've yes. never met a person <laughs> <laughs> with the kind of energy right. that Dr. Leela Lewis yes. has. Right. She is That's moving right. all yes. the time <laughs> and has never heard a good idea that she didn't bite down on. Right. Right. And once she kind of gets her teeth into yep. it, Done. Yep. It's, it's look done. Out, get out of the look way. Out, yeah. Get out of the way. <laughs> 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So you've got a good team. We have. We've been Hard working together for a long blessed. time. Yeah. And we're, going to, we're going to have a closer working relationship. Praise so the we Lord. Can do some big project. Maybe we'll yes. hear a little bit about that. Yeah, yeah. we have yes. finished this program. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Excellent. By the way, just the last program, we were talking about Zambia. Something I forgot to tell you. You mm. had a thousand meetings in Zambia. Mm -hmm. and, and the Lord blessed beyond belief. Kyle, I think they said we'd have maybe 2,000. Right. And the Lord blessed with almost 18,000. 18,000. Yeah. 18, and then, Incredible. Cammie, they told us at the end, they said, Kyle, remember this, they said, what was it? 80% of those came We're from, from AWR. From AWR. Had listened wow. to the radio. Oh, praise yeah. God. That's yeah. amazing. Praise I, God. I, just, feedback. I just have to say this. You know, we were in the pool baptizing. I don't know yeah. if you said this in the last program, yeah. but we were in there for over two hours CA mm. baptizing. And we got into the pool. 35 or plus pastors were in that pool. It was cold water, believe it or not, in oh, Zambia. Oh, wow. Started off, it was very clear and blue. By the end, dark brown. <laughs> you know what? We were happy because it was like a symbol of all those sins being washed Amen. away. Yes. Amen. Wow. Thousands Amen. of people giving their Amen. hearts to Jesus wow. and having wow. listened to AWR. Amen. God is good. Praise the Lord. How wonderful. Get pruny, getting pruny for Jesus. You know, kind of thing. Yes. It was we have it was had an powerful. exciting summer, that is for sure. Oh, yeah. wow. Not only was Zambia, then next we went to Where? Palawan. Palawan. Yes, have you been island? to Palawan? You know, I Dr. have. I've been Let's there a hear. couple times. A few times. God <laughs> totally blessed. Kyle, do you remember that? Just yes. a few weeks ago? Yes. It yes. was unbelievable what God did. Sue, bless your heart, all your work ahead of time. We did a free mega clinic there. We call it Life Source. What happened, Kyle? Oh, well, um, you know, by the way, Palawan, Philippines, just to clarify. Uh -huh. Indeed. It was in the Philippines, Philippines, an island in the southwest part of the Philippines. And so we, we said, you know, like you said, Dwayne, health evangelism must be combined with, with mm -hmm. the yeah. preaching. So right. the TMI yeah. meetings were coming up. Yeah. And we said, we need to have a clinic before the TMI meetings to serve the people of Puerto Princesa, health. whole person whole health. And that was the approach that we took with the government and they were very excited about it. Okay. And they and they, they provided amazingly. They actually gave us the Coliseum, the Coliseum. completely for free. Amen. It was a total blessing from God because there's no way in the world we could have been able to afford that. And, and mm -hmm. the, the conference, the union, everybody partnered the together, the hospital yeah. there, mm -hmm. so many people came together to make it possible. But we didn't just do the medical. That's the big thing. You know, right. we, we brought the yeah. whole person, physically. Physical, yeah. mental, emotional, and mm. spiritual healing. We, we wow. call that in That's TMI and right. AWR 360 connecting the dots. That's right. Calendar. Yeah. And, and what, that's an awesome. Together. That's an 
awesome mm -hmm. way of describing because that's exactly what we did. We decided from what we learned at Pathway that we wanted to bring a closer connection between the spiritual, the physical, and mental and emotional. And so we actually shut the clinic down. Is that right, Kyle? Well, it's amazing because, you know, at, at Pathway, we've talked about it before, CA. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much happening. You know, people are, are, are ready to get their services. Thousands of people are in line, and you would think, why would you shut the clinic down? You've got mm -hmm. thousands of people outside. People what waiting? are you thinking about? <laughs> there's doctors <laughs> here, there's providers. Why shut the clinic down? But, but, Dr. Leela, you felt very convicted. I felt very convicted. That's what God wanted us that to do. That we need to do this. And so we did. We shut it down from By faith. Wow. It Amen. was a total by faith. Oh, in the middle of the day. In the middle yes. of the day. In the middle oh, of the okay. day, we shut that clinic now, down. Yeah, that is a little revolutionary. To, to, yes, serve, yes. to serve lunch, mm -hmm. but more importantly, to serve whole person health. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah. And Dr. Leela, you got up first, and she would make a presentation on physical health. And then would bridge and tying into the mental tying emotional. into the mental health and emotional health and mm -hmm. then bridge to spiritual and then and then I came up and did a spiritual health presentation wow so we're, we're presenting whole person health um, making that bridge between we don't want just people to be healed physically we want them healed spiritually mm -hmm. as well Amen. and so we did that each of the three days mm -hmm. during the noon hour it was Amen. it was really it awesome. was it was quite a learning experience I would say yeah but and God it, totally blessed at first it didn't really like it was a little hard for us the first time we had done it, mm -hmm. the first day, and people are milling around still, but we noticed people were listening. Ah. And they were following. Sue, uh, you know, I mean, they were, they it were there. It was incredible. When you made an appeal for how many want to give their lives to Christ, Wow. All the hands went up. It seemed like that entire um, Coliseum like 2, people had well, their hands wow. raised. The, the amazing thing was, Dr. tell them what happened because you were speaking. Okay, so I go to make my mini appeal kind of halfway between <laughs> before I hand it off to Kyle. Uh -huh. And I'm, I'm at the point where I'm saying, you have the opportunity. The discussion was on the frontal lobe. You have the opportunity to have the mind of Christ, that the name of Jesus for the people who look up and say, lo, this is our God. We have waited for him. He will save us. They get to have his name in their mm -hmm. forehead. Mm -hmm. And that can be you. You can have this opportunity. I'm just about to make that appeal and invite Kyle to come speak. And out of the blue, from nowhere, great thunder and lightning just boom. And like Literally, over, boom. boom. It was boom. It was definitely boom. It like overshadowed my voice and God just like took my voice above this Amen. chaos and it just went woof. And then Kyle, Kyle come over, came up and he took over. But the, but the rain, the rain and the thunder stopped, right, Kyle? When it it, you, it when subsided you and subsided. And then I, I, I preached, I talked about I, I talked about heaven and how we ha all have the hope of, mm -hmm. of being together with God one day and full, full health in heaven. Amen. Amen. And so then we made an appeal, like you said, Sue. We and both stood up together to make mm -hmm. the final and, appeal. And she came up and, and we start making the appeal and then right as we're making the appeal. <laughs> there it goes again. The thunder. <laughs> the thunder. And the rain. But God took both of our voices this time. Again, above the storm. You were there, mm -hmm. Sue. It was the mm -hmm. most powerful mm -hmm. thing. And like you said, literally, it was like the wave. You know, you see at these big yeah. coliseums, like people uh -huh. standing, yeah, everybody like, just uh, raising we asked, their hands. We asked Beautiful. the people to stand who would accept Christ, and they just stood all around, mm. and all around the auditorium. Yeah. And then those on the, on that were standing in line, even then, we asked them to raise their hand, raising wow. their hands to accept Jesus. And we, we do have a few pictures, too, if they would like to oh, show. Oh, good. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 And you know what else happened too, kind of Cammy coming to what happened afterwards, yes. was that Kyle really made a big emphasis, to, we, in fact, all three days to yes. invite the people to the meetings that happened subsequently right, right. two days mm -hmm. later. Yeah. Now this is what, exactly. outside the, the, the stadium? That, mm -hmm. those, now, that's the team. Uh -huh. Some of the volunteers. Okay. okay. Um, there was actually, just to bring an idea of what actually took place, there were only 300 volunteers. It was literally it was, a Gideon army. It was a wow. Gideon wow. army. And <laughs> we served by God's grace. You can see the thousands of people wow. that are there. Wow. wow. Just under, in the end, it was yes. just under nine thousand patients. Oh, no, 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 you're, no, no you're, you're, uh, really? It's true? It's true. <laughs> 300 to 9,000 nine oh, <laughs> patients. No joke. A Gideon army of 300. And that was with, by faith, shutting the clinic down for yeah. one hour. We're talking mm -hmm. surgeries, well, the dental, the eye care, uh, all that. Mm -hmm. um, to, 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 uh, when you said we shut it down, well, of course, you, you got to shut it down sooner or later. I didn't know you meant in the middle of the day, which is, that's a God thing. Mm -hmm. And to do that and get that kind of response. Now, now Sue, you, they were speaking, so I, I know the speaking end. As a person who put this together and then to see and be experienced that, give me some sense of, of what was going on in your it heart. It was really mind. amazing. Mm -hmm. I, um, during the clinic, I worked in the exit management when people were going out. We had an opportunity to talk to the patients as they were um, leaving. We were giving them literature, Christian literature, inviting them to the evangelistic meetings, which would begin that Friday evening. And 
they were so happy, so excited. We had a language barrier with some, of course, I don't speak Tagalog and they didn't speak English, but you could tell they were so excited. And then the really exciting, or not any more exciting, but it was nice to see them bridging over then to the evangelistic meetings. Mm -hmm. We started Friday evening mm -hmm. and one lady came up to me, I was at an evangelistic site and she goes, I remember you. Mm. Uh, you gave me some literature. She oh, said, you amen. gave me three pieces of oh, literature. <laughs> and um, anyway, she went to every meeting. Praise God. She didn't miss. And I didn't see her the last Sabbath, but she was planning on being baptized. Praise God. So it was yeah. wow. really exciting. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's, it's powerful, CA. I mean, mm -hmm. this is what we're told, right? Yes. It's the right arm, and when we, when, when the Savior mingled with men as one who desired their good. Yeah, precisely. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. he, he, he ministered to their needs, yes. won their confidence, and then he bade them follow, follow me. me. That's right. the key and right the there. Yeah. That's yeah. the key right there. He bade them follow him. Right. If we don't do that, that's yep. right. Mm -hmm. yep. We're we, uh, in my opinion, yeah. we yeah. sinned. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Because right. what have we oh. created? Mm. Um, yeah. Healthy sinners? I mean, how is that? How, <laughs> Say yeah. that one more time. Healthy what? Healthy sinners. <laughs> how, how is that <laughs> helpful to longer, anybody? Yeah, how, it's, right. it's not. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> harmful. That's right. Yeah. And I just yeah. I feel so excited about the opportunity of this beautiful bridge. Yes. Tell, me, tell us about about your friend. Yes. Now this is just one of several stories of how the AWR 360 model really works when you bring in the medical piece, the evangelism, the radio, it's incredible. There was this couple that were, he was actually um, he bedridden, he was crippled, and um, this caused a lot of tension in the marriage, and they were fighting all the time, and the children were upset, and one day they turned their radio to a program, AWR, of course, and they started to hear about the gospel message and Jesus' love, and they fell in love with these messages, and it became a part of their, their home. Yeah. Then they heard about this medical clinic being a, uh, in their city and that they needed to go and it was free. Mm. What? So they arranged and found their way there to be at the medical clinic and he got the services that he needed. AWR also found out that he did not have a wheelchair. Oh. And so just put that in the back there for a moment. And, um, and then this family, while they were there, as you guys just shared, they were invited to the evangelistic series. Yeah. So not only did they hear that on the radio to be invited, but then in person at the oh, medical, yeah. it Amen. all is coming together for me. Like, wow. We love this so much here at the medical clinic. We got to go to this evangelistic series. Mm -hmm. We got to go. <laughs> so the family, they all get together and every night they come to an evangelistic meeting Amen. and they learn more wow. about wow. Jesus. Yeah. Now, in the meantime, their little radio that had saved this family, you know, um, by learning about Jesus, th it broke. And AWR heard about that, yeah. the local AWR team. So this is fascinating what this team does there. They actually have this special guy that will take the radio and fix the radio just to AWR. Really? <laughs> and these, these are, are the radios these, that these they hand radio. up. New, new radios, <laughs> it's a right? brand new radio. <laughs> it just only plays AWR. <laughs> so anyways, they, 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 brought, they brought this family um, a new radio. They were thrilled. And of course, it played the station that they preferred anyhow. So it was perfect. And they listened to the radio. Right. They're attending the evangelistic series. They received the medical help. And what's most amazing, if you would actually roll, we have um, a clip I'd like to play. Um, a little video uh, clip. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. the Palauan um, end event. I don't want to say the baptism. Mm -hmm. If you could play yep. that, yeah. Oh, this is actually of them preaching. If we could go, yeah, that's okay. We can yeah. play this too. So, um, but what happened was is that you'll see in a few moments that on the big baptismal day. Wow. The, yes. Yeah. Well, Here, let's yeah, just, we'll well, leave that story for a second. Let's talk yeah, about this. This is, yeah, 552 wow. people came forward just at the wow. appeal. Praise God. And, um, okay, so here's the baptism. And mm. in a moment, you're gonna see this precious family because this man was brought a wheelchair by AWR, was brought out into the sand, they carried him into the ocean and he was baptized. And you're gonna see this in just a moment here. It was such a beautiful sight. <laughs> and so the whole family is reunited together in the gospel message. Beautiful. And mm. this is all through AWR 360, the Holy Spirit working through AWR 360, uh, connecting the dots Amen. through 
Okay, so maybe it was the next. Is there a picture with the? Yes, here's this precious oh, family. Oh, wow. And there he is there with his precious the radio. radio. Yes, <laughs> there it is. and his children that are so, they, they commented, thank you for sharing with wow. us because our family is different now. Wow. It, he's being you know, carried and, right there. Yes, oh, there he is. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, wow. Amen. And so, Amen. yes, and so this family is so grateful. And that's just one of the many stories that we were able to film Praise the Lord. about how God is using all of these ministry mm -hmm. pieces coming together, radio, evangelism, medical, they're all important, and together Amen. they're Amen. powerful. Amen. Wow. Together they're mighty, and you know what? It's what we're told to do in the end time, and I'm so excited to be a part of a team that is doing this. Amen. All, all facets coming together, and this is what it does. It produces a whole family. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Praise wow. God. Yeah. Dr. Lou, is this the first time that Pathway has gone outside of the United States for an event? Well, you know this is AWR Life Source Mega Clinic. So, uh -huh. so um, although I have the same smile, <laughs> <laughs> this is not your best pathway to health. We're really happy that Pathway is a North American division, your book mm -hmm. entity, right. but, but AWR is the international opportunity uh, to share okay. this All around right. the yeah. world. Well so. done. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. done. Amen. well done. I told you I have a dream team. <laughs> you, you do. You, you do. And you're there's dreaming, gonna be more dreaming great dreams. There's going to be more opportunities as That's we look to right. next year for people That's to volunteer right. internationally yeah. for medical mm -hmm. clinics, so stay Praise tuned. Yeah. 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 And the next year, and the next uh, year. Yeah, this is an ongoing <laughs> yes. thing. Well, I mean, it's not like God said, you know, oh, that yeah. people wouldn't need yeah. us anymore. Until Jesus so. comes. Did, did you have volunteers Amen. that came from the States? We and did. Absolutely. Absolutely. Local, we, had, local we had quite a number, and we had quite a number of amazing mm. specialists from Loma Linda. I'm very thankful oh. for that. Heads of departments, right? Yes, we had quite a number of departments, but even we had a neurosurgeon that came from Loma Linda, an ear, nose, and throat specialist. A urogynecologist, yeah. our own Dr. Lindo came. A so of nurses, a lot people. of nurses, doctors. There was a doctor that came from Australia, a dermatologist. Wow. Wow. So they came from all over the world actually yeah. To, yeah. to participate. Yeah. So you covered more patients with less people. That's right. Uh, yeah. all, I mean, that's never happened, right. ever. 300 yeah. volunteers total. That amazing. included all the non-medical people. It was too. really amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. The local people, local doctors. And the doctors, local, the local so doctors together. participated, mm -hmm. local yeah. nurses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was a beautiful time. What was sure, the, the response from local government after having seen this? Because you know, be, being on the board of your best, I know what you go through in the state. Yeah. But this is a whole <laughs> different yeah. ball game. It, it was know? phenomenal, wasn't it, Kyle? It was. I mean, we went there and met at the mayor's office. And remember what had just happened, I think it was a a couple weeks before, there were yes. some issues uh, um, happening. Yes, a, a mayor in the Philippines had been assassinated. Oh, wow. Two mayors, actually, and, um, just but, before. But we got to meet the mayor, and uh -huh. he brought us in and was so thankful. Wow. I mean, all actually, we met several council people, uh -huh. civil city councilmen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were all so thankful. Yeah. Like, Why are you guys here? We're doing this for yeah. us, for yeah. our city. He even came and spoke for the special mm -hmm. dinner. Mm -hmm. The mayor mm -hmm. came, mm -hmm. and they were very, very happy for the services. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing mm -hmm. the yeah. impact mm -hmm. that medical evangelism, all of it has yeah. on oh, yes. the city yeah. officials. Yes, yes, It opens doors. The yeah, Department yeah. of Health, nice. actually the medical right. director for the Department of Health is actually a Seventh-day Adventist and he used mm -hmm. his position wow. to also wow. help us. Praise well. the Amen. Lord. Praise God. God. God is good. God is See, good. I, I need to say one thing. Mm -hmm. Kyle, just look at his face. <laughs> in, my, in my face. Do not look at my in face. In my face. <laughs> You know, the reason the AWR does not grow beards. <laughs> but Very the, true. the General Conference is going to Battle Creek to do a yeah. special Pioneer. Uh, pioneer. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he wanted to look like, like the pioneer. The pioneers, yeah. So I have six weeks, and Kathy says, shave it off. Six indeed. Weeks. Indeed. Yeah. I guess but I'll I, never make it to the general But I would like the audience to know that, that <laughs> the president of ADMR can go a real beard. This is three weeks in. This is mine. This is not a real beard, CA. <laughs> I'm just in awe of Dwayne's beard, but uh, yeah. I, I said the same thing to him. Very yeah. much in awe. Well done. Yeah. We're yeah. following yeah. Elder Wilson on this. That's one. right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're following his <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Sue had this one story about this young man who preached, and he came. He had only been baptized just recently before. Mm -hmm. He got tricked into coming. He thought he was going to go just have fun on the beach, and, and all of a sudden he's preaching at <laughs> the meetings. I and love this story. Tell, tell us about. So we're talking about the evangelism portion that came right after the medical clinic. Yep. We had a group of young adults come in from Australia. Yes. There was some others that came as well, but almost half the team was these young adults from Australia. Wow. Mm -hmm. And this young man, 21, he started preaching, um, and uh, it wasn't long down the line he came to me and he said, I cannot preach that mm. Sabbath message. Mm. And I said, really? why is that? Yeah. And he said, because I'll feel like a hypocrite, oh. because I'm not convinced on the Sabbath myself. He had no. just been baptized March no. before that. This was in July, so oh. that was March. And tell us a little bit about his life before he was baptized, that he 
he, went through a lot of struggles. So. Yes, he had a lot of addictions, mm -hmm. uh, party type, mm -hmm. um, just a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that this young man was going through before he was baptized. Mm -hmm. and so anyway, he didn't want to preach the mm -hmm. Sabbath message. And I said, you know what? Here's what you do. You just go out there and you read the script. The Holy no, Spirit led her. You, yeah, don't, you, say, yes. yes. <laughs> you don't have to say, I believe this or anything. You just go read the script to the people. Mm -hmm. And he's like, okay, I think I can do it. I'll do it. So he goes. <laughs> and when he, he wow. returns, I'm able to talk to him. And I said, so how did it go? And he's, here was his words. I am more than convinced about the Sabbath. So convinced wow. himself. Amen. 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 That is, that that is his amazing. Life changed. Oh. Yes. Wow. yes. Yes. And just so many of our team. I mean, one older lady that was preaching said, "I now feel alive. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. I feel alive." Amen. Mm -hmm. Evangelism, yeah. changes, Evangelism yeah. changes not only those we're preaching yeah. to, but uh, our own lives as absolutely. we preach awesome. the Word of God. Oh, that young yes. man was, was hearing things he didn't believe out of his own mouth and he started believing what he was hearing. <laughs> oh, <yeah. That's> right. <laughs> you know, what's amazing is when you do open yourself yes. up to preach yeah. evangelistic series, which mm -hmm. I highly recommend to everyone, Amen. that when you are speaking biblical truth, it yes. is coming uh -huh. through yeah. you. The Holy yeah. Spirit yeah. is working oh, yes. through you. That's mm -hmm. right. How can that not change you? Right. Yeah. Every time yeah. I preach a series, my conviction just goes deeper yeah. and mm -hmm. deeper and deeper. That's right. And I think that if uh, all of us, all of us, Christians need to yeah. be out there mm -hmm. and, and winning souls. And, and I would Lord. just like to say, even, even for me as a pastor, you know, I was in Zambia yeah. and got to preach. It was a yeah. beautiful experience yeah. preaching under the stars there. Yeah. But I'm telling you, it reaffirmed my faith. Oh, yeah. Amen. And so Amen. anybody that's, that's watching us today, I would just encourage you mm, um, that's to, right. to take the opportunity God may be giving you an opportunity yeah. to preach somewhere. Yes, yes, Take that yes. opportunity yes. because it will strengthen your faith mm -hmm. or give a Bible study. When we do those things, yeah. that's really total right. involvement. That's right. Yeah. It is. To do yeah. something for God. You, you see, yeah. AWR hires only evangelists. Medical <laughs> <laughs> oh, Very Amen. true. Amen. But you know, I think this is one of the strongest inducements for someone to get involved in this. Amen. The fact that one, as you help convert others, you will reconvert yourself. Yes. That's right. Amen. As you light a fire in yeah. their lives, you will light that same fire in your own life. Amen. That's right. And then you will find that it's an addictive thing. Yes. Oh, yes. You do it once, you want to do it again and again. And so yes. if your spiritual experience is fatiguing, running a little low, this may be an excellent way to jumpstart right. your own salvation right. experience yeah. by doing yeah. for others you will do yeah. for yourself. Amen. Yeah. No, yeah. And you just yeah. get to live on a natural high. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I tell you, their feet don't touch the ground. Yeah. 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 All these yeah. guys are yeah. 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 You're still the You're at a different level. Yeah, right. I agree with you, Kyle. She's the ultra bunny. Last year, last year, we took Japanese. Uh, how many did we take? Uh, 48. Eight I of think them 48. To Mindoro, the Philippines, to preach. Mm -hmm. And they got excited. And they went yes. back home and preached. You know, they, they'd never preached before. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we did to jumpstart the, the work in, uh, in Japan in this Japan. year. And yeah. so we did 162 meetings there. Wow. First time in the wow. history of the wow. country. Wow. 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 And so we decided to do something for China. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we, we had what, 40... You remember the number 47, 47? Mm -hmm. 47 Chinese. Wow. Young adults. Amen. Uh, from Amen. mainland mm -hmm. China. Wow. Praise, wow. praise mainland the Lord. China. <laughs> <laughs> who came and preached the first meeting. Praise God. In Mindoro. And then we found something else out there. Uh, when we were there, th there were, uh, boy, <laughs> for 49 years, there are these communist rebels. This is an incredible story. Yes. You, and, you just and can't believe this. This is incredible. Do we want to roll the tape yeah, while we're talking yeah, about sure. it? Sure. Right. Here, here they are. And, and 49 years, these rebels have been fighting the government, uh, the communists, yes. and they've been trying to take over the government. They've it's been supported by outside. Impressive guns. Oh, know. yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just it's amazing. The real deal. Yeah. It is, it yes. is the real deal. <laughs> now, so, there, there's this place called Zigzag. Zigzag. Is that you, Kimmy, in front of these guys? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Are you scared? Oh, actually. Oh, should we pause it or it kind of went, but okay, we'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah, so zigzag is um, a spot on the island where it um, zigzags, the, the road, road zigzags. Zigzag. Oh, and yeah. they would you position the themselves mm -hmm. at the top of that zigzag. The and you can imagine down. what happens when the, the enemy comes. comes. They, they can easily oh, take sure. them out. Mm -hmm. They so, call it the killing fields. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and this yeah. is the mindset. Yeah. But who can change that kind of mindset? God, Jesus. You, right. Yeah. So what we found out is that in those mountains, they are listening 
to the radio. To AWR. To right, AWR. Yes. A year ago, year and three months, we started mm -hmm. broadcasting, first time ever. Mm -hmm. We had no Adventists up there. Wow. And all of a sudden, we have 88, 88, 88, 88, 88 villages. Villages. <laughs> villages. Villages. Yes. Oh, villages. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Bible workers studying. Praise the Lord. And, and oh, many of these soul. are the, the, the rebels. Yeah. And they're listening. And they, they're listening. They're laying down their machine guns mm. yeah. and picking up the gospel. They give an AK-47 yeah. for a Bible. And, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that awesome. a fulfillment of the prophecy being you know, the Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just this last Sabbath, I was at a church and I was telling the story and there was a lady there that's from the Philippines and she said, she was totally amazed by it. She said, in all of these years, these 49 years, no ministry has been able to penetrate that mm. group. Wow. Mm. Do you know Amen. why? You know why? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Medical evangelism. Yes, that's yeah. a big Every piece year of when it. We go there, yes. we, we've gone there several years mm. and we'll give the rebels money to buy medicine. We'll send medicines up to them for building relationships and yes, friends. Yes, and yes. So now we start broadcasting medical mm. and Bible and they're listening. If and that's not the entering wedge, I don't yeah, know what it is. Thank you. Amen. 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 Awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. But it's just This amazing. is a hard place. I mean, yeah. You wouldn't go oh, up there, would no, you? No, no, no. <laughs> 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 well, These yeah. guys are serious. Yeah, no, no, those serious. guys don't actually, want to they, play act, guns. You no, know, actually, yeah. the colonel in charge of the island, the military colonel for the mm -hmm. Philippine Army. The Army, yeah. yeah. He, he said, he yeah. said, this is so exciting to see what is happening. He said, they're, they're sick and tired of being killed, being shot at. Mm -hmm. And killing all these each years. other. And they're shooting, people, shooting their own people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You know, they, they'll come down, they'll, they'll, sh they'll massacre the soldiers, they'll trap them, and then the soldiers will send their, their uh, helicopters up, their gunships, and find them out in the open and mm -hmm. massacre them. It's been, it's terrible, 49 yeah. years of this battle, this war going on. Nice. Right. Oh. And they have one so. purpose, is to overthrow the government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, wow. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Now, now these people are laying down these machine guns. So you can imagine that, the, the, Bible. that, the, yeah. ar that the government army is... Yeah. Thrilled They're for thrilled. AWR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, it's right. a, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How, again, when we offer people, mm -hmm. we start by offering their, their physical yeah. needs, yes. yeah. their felt needs, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Yeah. That all of a sudden they realize, oh, these yeah. people are for real. They, mm. they, yeah. they care about me in other ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're willing to listen when we yes. give them mm. spiritual help yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 So yes. beautiful. And it, while, while you share, let's roll that video of the medical team. It, you should it, see what it took the medical yeah. team to, to get, get to that village. Yes. Uh, uh, now, we went there via helicopter. <laughs> we found, unfortunately, we found yeah. an Adventist helicopter that yeah. took us in. So here we go. This this is... Um, we have a military escort taking us up to the mountains. So this is a village surrounded by all well, the jungle. Well, this is a different village. I don't... This is... Um, hmm. We need the I, I think medical. maybe we'll get there. Okay. Let's see. It comes there. Okay, good. So the, well, okay, this this here. is actually, yeah, people walking to the meetings, would, they would walk miles and miles just to come every single night. And mountain. one of the Chinese speakers, he yeah. was so overwhelmed and in awe of how God was using him. And there were literally dozens and dozens of villagers that would walk. Um, one one uh, group of them, 20 kilometers every wow. night. Wow. So, yes. Wow. So if we could roll the clip of... Um, of the medical doctors, I think it was titled doctors, maybe. Doctors. Of, yeah. of them reaching the rebels. Oh, Here we go. Are. Yes. So are. this yeah. is the day where um, we were all coming together. This is the medical volunteer medical team there in uh, Mindoro, and this is it works. It just works together. And here's the the government army. Oh, we um, had a military escort. Yeah, military we had escort. Had prayer with them before we started. Wow. With the government army, the, the soldiers came and took our hands and we prayed together. Wow. Mm. It was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. They had about a hundred so villagers hand, coming had, yeah, down. Oh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Guess wow. how long it took them to walk. Not only these hundred porters that came down to bring up the supplies, but also the medical they, staff. They said, if you go, no. probably it'll take about four hours. And we got to thinking, that's not going to work. No. That's too far. And then all of a sudden we look find at, out. Look at, this is just the beginning. It turns out it's... 10 hours wow. to hike. That's how long it took because wow. it's way, see, they, look at, look, this isn't uh, like a normal like little hike. This, this is, is in where you're up to your not knees. This is a well manicured trail. This no. is our, no. medi this is the <laughs> medical this is our, our doctors this and our medical team. team. That's right. Yeah, and and here they are giving That's the yeah. services, yeah. the wow. medicines, yeah. Amen. healing them so that then when they are out of pain, then they can take in the gospel message. Yes, it was beautiful to witness mm. that. That is just jaw dropping. It was incredible. 
Yeah. And then, oh, yeah. to top it off, uh, Dwayne had a wonderful like worship moment we yeah. had there with them and some singing and they did a little performance for us and as a welcome and brought us some little food and it was wonderful. But what topped off the day then was... Yeah, it was, it was thrilling. They, they actually, for half an hour away, they had a, had a river. And they said, we'll walk down there. Then they got to looking at us and they felt sorry for us. <laughs> and so they had a stream nearby and they dammed it up yeah. and we'll had the baptism. A beautiful here. little pool. Oh. <laughs> so we went to the small pool. It worked out just great. Mm. And I was 60. able to baptize. Now, 60, 65. another 200 yeah. later, yeah. a couple mm -hmm. days later. Mm -hmm. That day we baptized five of their generals. Wow. wow. Wait, say that again. Five rebel communist wow. generals. Wait, yeah. say that again? Five <laughs> rebel generals. Unprecedented. God is good. Unprecedented. Yeah. Yeah. God can yeah. do anything yeah. he That's wants right. every yeah. soul. They laid down their machine guns and yep. pick up a Bible. Mm. Praise the Lord. Can mm. you imagine that? Now you did that wow. baptism? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some sense just, of what was going on in the oh, I just, just amazing. Yeah, here. I'm shaking under this robe because yeah, I'm glad I got this big thing under <laughs> You see like the guns and you realize where you're at. And I've yeah. heard about these rebels and all. Mm -hmm. and, you know, every time we, we've been there many times. Mm -hmm. and, and we always realize that our life is in danger. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes, so yes, we, yes. We're kind of giving the rebels medicine so they won't shoot us. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, we're broadcasting, they're hearing the health message, they're hearing the mm. Bible message, and their hearts are being changed. Mm. Amen. There's, you there's know, power in the words. Truly, right? I didn't yeah. feel at all, when I was no. there, did not feel any danger at all. No. It, it Really, that whole village had become yeah. so yeah. Mm, just grateful for the medicine, yeah. grateful yeah. for the yeah. gospel, it, grateful for the baptism. The whole baptisms. lives are changed. Yeah. You, can't, you can't believe this, but you, you, you guys tell them about what happens, how pagan they are. Mm. With the, the, yeah, the, there's the, a several things. It breaks I'm, my heart. Yeah, but yeah. this is before they knew the gospel, of course. Yeah. But um, they're allowed to have three children. Yeah. And if they have a fourth, oh, they, I can't even say it. They bury the child alive. Wow. When it's oh. hard. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Dig a hole and bury yeah. it alive. Mm. Mm. And just before and we got there, we had some of our medical people up there. Rescued one, baby. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Terrible. And, and you know, they, yeah. they wife swap for, I think it's 400 pesos. If they want to exchange wives, just pay 400. Or yeah. um, they marry at 13 years old, start having oh. babies. Oh. Mm. There's, so there's many generations that have been living up there now within those like 49 this. years. When you mm -hmm. think yeah. it, mm -hmm. I think it yeah. through, like the, there's mm -hmm. many um, that have just sort of been ingrained with this. But no mm. matter, yeah. the gospel message still reaches those. Yeah. It still pricks their hearts, yes. their conscience. See, that's yeah. because Jesus is the answer to everything. And it was so yeah. exciting. I, was it you, Duane, that asked, how many of you, all the people from the yeah. village have yeah. gathered around, yeah. and I think you asked, how many of you have come to know Jesus by listening to the radio? Yeah. All the hands raise their hand. Mm. It's powerful. Oh, you know, this makes so me powerful. Think, you know, just today I had one of my friends text me and she has a problem with a, a mental illness. And so many times we think that, oh, there are certain things that just can't be healed. Yeah. They just can't, mm. Jesus can't fix those kinds of things. It's mm. just mm. whatever it is. Mm. But to hear this, yeah. to hear a complete transformation of an entire community, yes. yeah. Yeah. Jesus can change anyone. And if there's a list, someone listening yes. right now that you think right. Jesus can't change Amen. you, Jesus can change mm -hmm. you. Absolutely. Thank you, thank Amen. you, thank you doctor. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. And, isn't and Jesus can, I'm sorry, Carl, but the, he can change yeah. situations, yeah. not yeah. individuals mm -hmm. yeah. right. can impact situations, right. can impact communities, can yes. impact societies, That's right. can change countries. That's yeah. You know, right. it's, it's, it is without end. It is Amen. limitless. Yes. Amen. In, in fact, He's pulling out. down strongholds. Precisely. That's right. yes. Right. Yes. 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 But it's not, it's not one village. It's, it's 88. 88. 88. 88. <laughs> <laughs> now those 88 also need new churches. Yeah. So keep yeah. that yeah. in mind. Yeah. So much yeah. They, yeah, they'll build they, the churches. They just yeah. want roofing. They yeah. just need, yeah. yeah. 4,000 bucks, I think. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. Kyle, you actually get to talk. Well, we, I was we just, you off here. It's such a, it's such a powerful <laughs> team. No, but I mean, when they were up there, I was worried about them. You know, I was texting, yeah, are yeah. you guys okay? Be safe, you know, <laughs> <laughs> stuff, going to the rebel territory. But you know what? I, I was thinking about it. That's really what Jesus did for us. Amen. Yes. yes. You know what I'm I mean, this world was so dangerous. Wow. Mm -hmm. And he came down from the heavenly courts to this world where there was all this suffering and death. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave up his life for us. And, and how, much, how much is that? A, that's a call for us it is. to go, and just as Jesus even did. Even to the places that even aren't, to the places quite that so aren't so pristine. Nice. That's yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. you know, that's what I Jesus did. That's, that's right. I truly right. believe well, he yeah, will right. protect us and yeah. it, until it's our work is done. Yeah. We're, mm. yeah. we're safe. It's okay. Mm. Yeah. 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 March no forward. What, we're safe. Lord. That's right. Well, amen. 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 That's right. That's right. 
So, so another exciting one of those 88 villages uh -huh. is called the Isla, Isla Verde, so the Green Island. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a year ago, yeah. as we were all leaving Mindoro after preaching, we get it, Robert Dulai, our, our AWR contact there, our radio you know producer, <laughs> he got a phone oh, yes. call. And it was of this wife of a chief. And um, she said, you know what, we've been getting your message, your radio messages over here. And we're, Robert's like, what? Because we didn't know that the radio airwaves were reaching that far. But see, oh, I think wow. God takes them a little extra far. Than <laughs> oh, I agree. Very, very much. Yes. Uh -huh. So this woman, she was so excited. She said, please, can you send us Bible workers to our island? Well, long story short, the AWR team had the privilege of going to that island yeah. and witnessing baptisms, a mass baptism, which you were able to baptize yeah, many of them. This has mm -hmm. never been done on this island before. So Bible workers were sent, AWR radio was playing, and then we had an evangelistic series, yep. and then we came and right. there was incredible baptisms. Incredible. Awesome. It was now, awesome. Now, another island, yeah. really quick, it's called okay. Danawan. And this little island, wow. this is so remote that these people only can receive or get their water by leaving the island in a boat. Can you mm. imagine this? Mm. And the women do it. <laughs> it's the women. Yeah. So they get in the boat, they take their heavy, you know, container, yeah. they go get water, come back, then they've got to carry it into the camp. Anyway, wow. this, they have been listening to AWR. And actually a lot of rebels will take refuge in this area, we found out as well. And yeah. AWR yeah. is reaching them. So wow. much so that only, only the month before we arrived, they had been had a baptism, and their whole community has now Seventh Day Adventist, and they built their own church. Wow. Which you, I think, Amen. did they show the video? Yep. Yeah, uh, you can see that. There the, it is. Yeah, yeah wow. This is this is uh, Denawan, and it's just a small little community right there. But they're reaching out because many other islands surround them, and the idea is going to be they're praying for this. So join us in prayer and in support that only. I think it's three kilometers away, three or four kilometers away, there is a spring of water where if they could just have a, a tube, a pipe, a pipe um, yeah. thank you, a yeah. pipe, yeah. they can then um, get the water. See, this is how the woman is carrying it in from the wow. boat. Uh. Can get the water um, to the front of the island there and at the church point where they're going to play AWR radio all the time. They're going to bring the water in with the pipe from the spring at the church and it's going to be the Seventh-day Adventist AWR uh, mission spot for that whole island. Wow. And so Amen. yeah, only $8,000 and we can bring them water. With the water Not pump. only water, physical water. Yeah. Spiritual yeah. water. Spiritual yeah. water. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. mm. Mm. When you drink it, you're never thirst again. Exactly. Wow. So just things like this are just happening all over. It's so exciting. Wow. But wow. now we must fit in India. India. Go for it. I oh, want to wow. hear all that. India. It. Yes. Oh, Kyle and I were just there. Yes. Sue uh -huh. in India. Thrilling things are. You know, next year is a focus of the General Conference is India. India is challenging. It's 1.3 billion people. Yes. Many of them, most of them, do not know Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking, how can we do this? So I, I've ordered 2,000 video projectors to have 2,000 meetings. But before we do the meetings, we're going to do <laughs> health evangelism. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, and 2,000 villages. And we're thinking, is that really going to work? And then Kyle, mm -hmm. we were just there at Spicer we were. at our university. Oh, yes. And something really exciting happened to give us a lot of hope for India. That's right. So we were there last, well, just recently on yeah. Sabbath. Yeah. And we, we got to meet this group of young adults that is really on fire for sharing the message. These are, these are college students. They're studying mm -hmm. different professions. But CA, they are on fire for the Amen. message. Amen. We, we went in their right. classroom. That where they meet on Sabbath yeah. afternoons to pray yeah. and to encourage one another. And it was so exciting because they're all like, they're talking about their plans and they're, 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 yeah. they're strategizing. And by God's grace, Dwayne, they agreed we challenged wait, wait. Them. There were 50 there. 50 the there, and they had Facebook Live going yes. for another 200 oh, that were watching yeah. all over awesome. India. Yeah. Yeah. Led by a guy yes. that uh, has an amazing conversion story. Oh. He was uh, a Hindu. No, a, a Buddhist priest. He was priest. a Buddhist priest. A Buddhist priest. Oh, wow. Excuse me, wow. Buddhist priest. Yeah. Anyway. And, and all of a sudden, he's a senior, a spicer. He's graduating. He's got a yeah. dream oh. to reach the world for Jesus. He has got such a passion and a fire for God. Praise God. But these 200 are going, they said, we want to preach evangelistic meetings. Mm. They agreed to do five evangelistic meetings each Ooh, if, wow. we give them a video if we give that them a video awesome. projector <laughs> next year. Oh, I think we're getting them the video projector. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you yes. thought, I can't do one, 
These young adults have said, we'll do five. Five. Wow. And they've never done one before. And they've never, right. a lot of them have never teach done them how to do mm -hmm. it. And then they said to me, Sabbath, as we were walking back to the church, one, the leader said, yes. the, the ex-Buddhist priest, uh, where I was walking with the, the, uh, the guy who is, uh, what do we call him? The, the hunter. hunter. The hunter, yeah. yes. The hunter. Uh, hunter? I'll tell you that story yeah. in a minute. Yes. Okay. So walked, and they said, Pastor, we'll have a thousand by Christmas time. Wow. A thousand. a thousand young people. They have 18,000 right now around the world on Facebook with them. They're communicating with these young people. Wow. A lot of stuff. And they said, we'll do a thousand. I said, will you do five meetings each? We will. Wow. Well, how many is that? Let me see. That's 5, incredible. meetings. That's incredible. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Awesome. They are sold out. Yeah, they are. They you are. know, there yeah. was another young man there I met. Wait, wait, wait. The, the hunter. Yes. Oh, you, you hunter. This story. <laughs> <laughs> the hunter. He, he said he grew up in this village in northern India, and, and it's, it's a, there's tribal war all the time. Mm. His house, where he was a kid and grew up, was burned three times. Mm. And he said there's such anger mm. in, in his heart. Mm. And so he became a hunter, and he would go out and shoot animals. Deer oh. and antelope and mm. you know whatever they could find, he'd drag the animals in, and they, they said this guy's crazy. He's giving us, he's <laughs> killing all these animals. <laughs> he's mm. more meat than we can eat. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so angry inside. Mm. And then wow. one day somebody gave him a book, uh -oh. an old book. He looks at it, he said, "What is this?" And he looks at it inside and it said, "The Great Controversy." Oh, oh, man. Wow. Changed his life, <laughs> became a Seventh-day Adventist, and, this, and I'm, I'm walking with a sister who's also an Adventist, who's at Spicer, mm -hmm. and I said, uh, "Did you all be? Were you all Adventists?" "Oh no, no, just just him." Well, what happened? Well, we beat him, <laughs> and we ran him out of the house. Oh, <laughs> not <laughs> once, but twice. Yeah, twice. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm. and, but they're all Adventists. The whole family Amen. is now. Mm -hmm. and he's yeah. so excited about sharing the gospel. They said we want to go into tough areas like Nepal and other mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Get, get caught doing evangelism in some of these places, you will mm. be prison for five years. Mm -hmm. so I said, I know, we want a challenge. Dr. Lilly, mm -hmm. you have a very aggressive schedule in the state. Do you plan on partnering with, with AWR for some of these extracurricular I activities? Think so. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Can we, can we partner? Would that work out? Yes. yes. The answer is an absolute yes. Amen. I am so excited that we're going to be working together as a yeah. team. Mm -hmm. And again, that's whole person yeah. health, right? That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. One of my the physicians and, and yep. dentists and, and all of us yeah. coming together yeah. with the pastors yeah. and, and the laity, all of yes. us working uh -huh. together. Yeah. Comprehensive evangelism, mm -hmm. total that's right. member yeah. involved. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's, Amen. Amen. that's right. Amen. Comprehensive yeah. health evangelism. That's what mm. it's all about. That's, that's what we want to do. And we're praying because next year, I mean, yeah. we talked about those young adults giving meetings, yes. but people yes. are going to come to India from all over yep. the world. Yep. By God's grace, we want to hold 4,000 meetings across yes. India next year. Well, wow. the young people would do it. Brilliant. Brilliant. The young people do it alone. <laughs> but, but we got to help them. We got to help them. Yeah. And uh, so in Chennai, in Calcutta, uh -huh. even in Pune, yeah. uh, we've got to have meetings, mm -hmm. and God is going to really bless. Mm -hmm. There's this God. little country I, I was just saying, saying to you earlier. Little, uh, not, it's a state, actually. Up, and it's, it's called Sikkim. Sikkim, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and, and we just got a message from, from Tim, and he said he was up there right now, and it's a, it's a country or a state that belonged to Nepal before 1975. Wow. And because of a war and readjustment, they got the, India got it, so it's mm -hmm. part of India. Most of the people are Christian. Oh. But it's, it's at a bridge, it's kind of like a, a great trunk road going through there mm -hmm. that, that hooks together Bhutan and Nepal and Tibet. Wow. And most of the people speak Nepali there and English. And he said everybody there has WhatsApp. Oh. Everybody has WhatsApp. Oh. And everyone also has Facebook. Mm. So we, we can take the cell phone evangelism. Yeah. You know, we have almost 100,000 people around the world now taking Bible studies every week. So we can take that in there, teach these phone. people. Mm -hmm. And yes. we're, we're sending in Neville Neveline and Tim Saxton, and they're going to be yeah. working with the young people. Mm -hmm. And we're going, Kyle, think about that. Yes, it's incredible. You know, we can yes, reach Tibet, we can reach Bhutan, we can reach Nepal, these difficult areas yeah. mm -hmm. just with using a cell phone. That's right. And WhatsApp. <laughs> and WeChat yep. and Facebook. That's right. Amazing. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. and amen. But we need to, we should mention the Center for Digital Evangelism. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because this is a big problem actually all over the world, CA. We have, you know, our church, AWR is broadcasting, our church is putting out content on the internet through mm -hmm. various social yeah. media yeah. channels. Mm -hmm. And um, we have so many tools today through our technology that, that has been given to us WhatsApp, 
Facebook Messenger, you name yeah. them, all the different tools. But how are we connecting with those people that are reaching out to us? Uh, uh -huh. You know what uh -huh. I'm saying? Uh -huh. How are we responding yeah. to yeah. the people mm -hmm. that may have listened to a broadcast mm -hmm. or seen a social mm -hmm. media post? Thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of people all over the world. Mm. Yeah. And so AWR has said, we can't let these these requests or these interests go unanswered. That's right. So by God's grace, we're starting the Center for Digital Evangelism, AWR, Center yes. for Digital Evangelism, mm -hmm. and the first target is going to be India for next wow. year. Yeah. So wow. it's going to start actually uh, in a few months here in the country of the Philippines. It'll be based at the Southern Asia Division. Mm -hmm. We're going to have missionaries from India. Mm. Basically, it's like a very glorified call center. Okay, <laughs> so everybody that expresses interest on social media, that clicks on an ad that we put out, that calls as a response to a broadcast, within 24 hours we want to respond to them yeah. yes. and lead yeah. them. Not only just uh, not only pray for them and tell them we're there, but yeah. lead them to Bible studies yeah. and ultimately to a local church. Amen. Because Amen. that's wow. broadcast to baptism. It yeah, is. Sure Amen. is. Amen. Amen. So we're very Beautiful. excited about that. Our time is going so incredibly wow. fast. I want to put up the contact information. Mm -hmm. If you are as stirred as those of us sitting around this table, surely you want to participate in this some way with your personal finances, certainly with your prayers, or you may just want to get on a plane and, and <laughs> render some service yourself. Uh, if you are medical personnel, I know you, you can be used. If you have not preached and want to dip your toes in the water, as it were, you may <laughs> want to do that. If you've been preaching for a long time, here's a brand new experience for you. You may want to do it that way. Mm. If you want to make contact to, to know where you can fit in to know what the Lord will have you to do, here's the information that you need. <laughs> If you are interested in supporting the work of Adventist World Radio, please visit their website, awr.org, to find out more. That website again is awr.org. You may also call them at 301-680-6304. That's 301-680-6304. You may also email cami at awr.org or write them at Adventist World Radio, 12501 Old Columbia Pike, Silver Spring, Maryland, 20904. And that is good information. Hopefully you are as excited about what you're hearing as we are. Amen. Dr. Amen. Lila Lewis, Kyle Allen, yeah. Dwayne McKee, uh, Sue Hinkle, <laughs> and Cami. Utman. Yes. Right. I guess you're going to pick it up from here and give us some information that we need, Cammie. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we are just so excited about everything that's going on. We hope that you have seen our fervor and you want to join with us in this fervor. And the thing is, is we want to be in touch with you. And please, uh, partner with us. You can actually see um, many of these stories that we've discussed. We have them in video form or um, you can use them in your Sabbath schools or Pathfinders, your churches. And um, you just go to YouTube and put in Adventist World Radio, and you can see all of our videos there. You can also, of course, go to Facebook and like our Facebook page because every Thursday we're posting a new miracle that's happening around wow. the world. Wow. So it's so exciting. And then we're adding some more things coming up to our Facebook page, so stay tuned. Also, of course, our website has a lot of information on you know the different projects that are going on. And you know we just so appreciate your involvement with us, yeah. not only in your prayers, but especially your prayers. We need your prayers um, for our radio broadcasters that are out there on the front lines. We need it for the evangelists that are going out, for, for the medical teams that are going. We just have this whole um, this whole army of God, uh, godly workers yeah. that um, we, we need to arm them with your prayers. Amen. So please Amen. join us. And um, we just uh, also want to mention that we have rallies coming up this fall. Now there's going to be nine. How many? Nine. Nine, nine yeah. rallies yeah. all over the U.S. All right. Now this is a great opportunity to bring your friends and family to find out more about um, the missions that are going on around the world, God's miracles that are happening today, current miracles. You know, it's inspiring to hear them in person and to, to bring somebody. It's a witness. And, and, and our rallies do that. Yeah, um, I so think we, I'll go. 
Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. I'll be there too. Okay. And so, uh, and you know what? You quite frankly, you get to hear some stories that we can't necessarily, you know, put out there, you know, because it, some of these people are in danger. And so you get to hear, um, you have a sneak peek into the, the behind-the-scenes stories that happen with AWR and how God's using us. And uh, so we invite you to um, our rallies. Now you can go to our website and you can uh, find the d different uh, cities and times there. And we would love to meet you in person and uh, and. And see you there. Also, I want to let you know that on AWR, or on 3ABN, AWR is having a new 30-minute program. So here, here. again, hey, on yep. Sabbath Amen. afternoons, Amen. we're so excited about hey, that. Amen. So Amen. Sabbath afternoons, tune into 3ABN yep. and see the latest AWR 30-minute program. Amen. Amen. Well done. Thank you so very much. It's been a pleasure. Amen. A true, true Thank blessing. Well, our time has fast slipped into eternity. Allow me now in closing now to wish you both grace and peace through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye and God bless. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Thea. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.